Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, April 13th, and Monday means Pioneer. Hopefully the weekend treated you well, and you're all safe and happy, and hanging in there in our quarantine. Uh, but let's take a look at today's league. We've got 32 decks to look at, which is a little high for Pioneer these days. So uh, let's see if there's any spice. Starting off with Ayaki91. We've got, uh, looks like a Jeskai Fires Walker list. It is not as prisony as the other Planeswalker deck that's been floating around. Uh, that was in Modern, though. But, uh, yeah, looks like a Jeskai Walker is probably ported quite a bit from Standard. I'm not... Uh, Elspeth Sun's Champion is probably, and Gideon of the Trials are the big... Uh, yeah, it's kind of split between uh, standard and prior walkers. But yeah, there's a there's a Just Guy Walkers list for you. A yellow with Golgari Stompy. And what are we running? We've got one Vraska main, three of the Horn Beetles, three Great Hinge. Yehini's Expertise in the side. That's interesting. Nice. Uh, yeah, so Golgari Stompy. WK Midori with the Lotus combo, Lotus Breach combo. Uh, I don't recall Expansion Explosion being in the deck, but there you are. There's there's a copy of it in there for you. Three Breaches, three Wolfalo Havens. Uh, yeah, there's one of the combo decks in the format. Lalauba with a Mono Red aggro deck oh this is is no this is red black what do we have black for scrap heap scrounger and any black sideboard cards no so this is really mono red it's splashing black in order to bring back the scrounger for a little uh resilience but uh yeah this is low to the ground red aggro Aki Ken with Hardened Scales. Good to see that deck hanging around. Uh, Constrictors, Hydras, Serpents, Rishkar, and Walking Ballista for the uh, the Coup de Gras. Razum, Raz, let's see, Ramzamela, Ramzamela, seven. Got a five O with Mono Black. This is Vampires. We've got Blood Baron. We've got Champion of Dusk. We've got Dusk Legion Zealots. All the Vampires are here. Or all the good ones, at least. A couple of Kaya's main. Solemnity in the side. That's interesting. So yeah, there you go. That is... Vampires. Geeky89 with another scales list this one is green white so this is scales with heliod and that's an, a combo i kind of half expected given the way the walking ballista combo works that can help you combo off a little faster so here's kind of a green white heliod scales deck for you interesting twist of a couple archetypes papo rock and tukara Interesting handle. I like it. Uh, this is a mono red prowess deck. We've got, yeah, 20 spells, 20 creatures, and two of the creatures have prowess. But this is almost burn. About as close to burn as I think you can really get in this format and still be effective. Jonathan Dayday with. A mono green ramp, mono green devotion. Uh, up to Galta. No, uh, no rotting regisaurs in this one. This is mono green. Heroic intervention in the side. Haven't been seeing that too much lately. I haven't seen that card much. Uh, Shaper sanctuary, vine mare. If you're facing black. Aspect of Hydra, to uh, get those final points in on your own block creature. Uh, yeah, mono green. Not quite, not really ramp, but more devotion deck. Cookton with 
Oh, this is a hand denial deck. We got Pack Rat, Meyer Triton. Now this is just black red pack rat kind of thing. So this is sort of a mid-range deck. I'm I'm it's not really mid-range. I think we're topping out at three drops here or four if you count the escape off Croxa. But yeah, this is a little nice little tweak on black aggro where we're splashing red for a few uh, different effects attacking on a different axis. Sargon with goblins. Torbran and goblins. I've played a deck like this. The only difference here or played against a deck like this. It was running Impact Trimmers and Perforos. I think just a one of original Perforos on top of all the goblins. And it was a little heavier on the dragon, the uh, goblin tokens. But otherwise, same general idea here. Uh, and Torbran for the, the, the final damage push through. The French Goblin is not playing goblins like Sargon was. The French Goblin is playing Heliod Ballista Combo. Mono White Devotion, as I guess the deck is being called. Uh, one Sargon main, a couple Gideon of the Trials. We've got various decent white removal pieces in the side, or hate pieces in Rest of Peace, Glare of Heresy, etc. Vice. Two, 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 two. With spirits. Bant spirits. This has become pretty much the list. Nine four buys and 24 lands. I'm not going to try to pronounce this. Jay said, uh, I guess I am. Jay said, De Depegas? Depegas? Depegaso? That is probably based on something non English, so it's not fitting for me. Orzov Auras. And it's a pretty straightforward build. Nothing too surprising here. Knight of Malice in the side is something I haven't seen very often. Uh, might be a little difficult in the... Yeah, well, it's hexproof from not white. It's not protection from white. So you can still put your all that glitters onto it. So that would be interesting if you're going up against Mono White Devotion. They're not going to be able to remove that thing. And with it having first strike, if you load up uh, some enchantments under that thing, that could get completely un unwieldy for them. Patchy with uh, mono green walkers. And this is running two hydras, two voracious hydras, two genesis hydras. So a little different threat mix here than you frequently see in this deck. And then it's got the uh, nearly all one of sideboard. Though still two heaven and earth, there are probably other cards. I mean, you, you're never casting earth in this deck unless some you manage to, what, double burning tree emissary to get two red. I think that's the only way you can get two red in this deck. So... There's probably something better than Heaven and Earth, but it works. Steffi Weffy 215 is playing Bant Control. Uro, Dream Trawler as your threats. Teferis as your Planeswalkers. And Control Package. Yep, Bant Control right there. Romarito 1 with Feather. Only three feathers in this deck. But 24 spells, two arcanists. This is a little heavier on the prowess slash uh, heroic side of things than the feather side of things. But there's, you know, you can mix and match to taste. You know, what you're facing. Excuse me, what you're facing. Max Magister with Inverter, uh, Demir Inverter. Two heroes downfall, four Jacevin Prodigy, a Narset main. Yep, Demir Inverter. You say Max with 
Oh, oh, Soul Flare. Have not seen this in a while. Good to see Soul Flare back. I saw the Chromanicores up top here. I'm like, okay, we got something spicy. But yeah, this is the Soul Flare aggro deck. Um, get stuff into the graveyard, delve them, out, delve them out with the Soul Flare. It acquires all their keyword attributes. And you just end up with this massive, completely unkillable, undealable thing. And, uh, yeah, the, never had a chance to play with or against this deck. I'll have to go find some uh, videos of people playing it online to see how it goes. But this this is something that's been floating around the format for quite a while. Invader 16 with Niv-Mizzets. And we are running two Gilded Goose as Mana Dorks 5 and 6. Two Uro. And a whole bunch of other stuff. 27 lands. Two Nahiri's main is becoming pretty standard for the Pioneer build of this deck. And two reasons. Her ultimate, you can get uh, Niv-Mizzet out and get a second... Uh, trigger because at the end of turn, Niv Music, you know, it comes into play, you get its ETB effect, comes back to your hand at the end of turn, you can cast it again next turn. The other part of it is the minus two exiles Heliod, and that can be extremely useful. In this deck, can be weak to combo, so this is one way to get Heliod off the board. Bolzo Eye with what is this deck? Is this Sultai? No, this is the Simic Ramp. Yeah. This is the Simic Ramp deck that's been going around. Up to Ugin. We've got Emrakul, Worldbreaker. Got some high do high uh, CMC stuff. This is Pilgrimage. Your grazers and uros are going to help you get extra lands out. Uh, 27 lands. Feels a little low for a deck like this. I'd, I'd be probably a little more comfortable at 28, but yeah, this works. Dummy gets a 5-0 with mono red. This is also a low to the ground. This is Abbot of Carol Keep, Chain Whirler. Just a different take on Mono Red. There's so many cheap, small, red aggressive creatures that you can kind of mix and match to your heart's delight. Avocado Toast is also playing Mono Red. So let's compare, right? We've got Bone Rabble Master. I mean, we've got almost like 75% difference here. Swift Spear is the same across both. Rimrock Knight, Soul Scar Mage, and Zergo. And Carizo. So now we're about 50-50 on, uh, on the threats. So here's a couple of different builds. Pick one you like. You know, test them both. See how it goes. On Crop Crasher here on the side is interesting. Gets rid of blockers. Or disables blockers. Magic, -o, Magic Outfield Player 1. Magic of Player 1. This is a... Uh, is this Sultai Delirium? No, this is just green black Delirium. Yep. Basically Jund. It's a rock deck, right? Green black rock. This one just is using the Delirium mechanic to help out in a couple of different ways. Distended Mindbender is a nice a nice get there. Merge that out and discard a couple cards out of their hand. Usank with... Now this is the Sultai list. Sultai Delirium. Ashiok and Nissa main. Only two walkers and it covers all three colors between them. Atris. Yep. So this is... This is Pioneer's Jund, is this. 
top five deck in the format, definitely. Giovanino, 0 02, with another blue white control list. This one is a little heavier on the enchantment removal. This is a little more what I'm used to seeing out of, out of a blue white control in Pioneer. This feels a little more, as much as you can say, traditional for a format that's six months old. Uh, this is kind of the traditional control deck of the format. Zeth 4 with a Possibility Storm deck, which is interesting. So Possibility Storm, basically, you cast, when you cast something from your hand, you exile, you don't, you exile that thing, then you exile things from the top of the library until you hit something that matches a type with it and cast that one for free. What I'm not used to seeing is so many uh, cheaper creatures in a deck like this. Because you would frequently, I mean, I can imagine trying to cast Goblin Rabble Master with Possibility Storm out and you hit an Elvish Mystic. That would not be fun. So I'm, this deck intrigues me, just that it worked for a 5-0, given this build. It feels off to me. But, I mean, it worked for this player. So, Possibility Storm here in a, in a Gruel Aggro deck is something to look at. And maybe it's just there for the opponent. Mess the opponent up, right? Get ahead on board and make it so that they can't plan how they're going to slow you down. That That's entirely possible. Kern 613 with Insoul. This is the blue-red Insoul. There's no... Uh, all that glitters or black sideboard cards. So this is this is the affinity equivalent in Pioneer. Fizzle with Galia Gruel Aggro. And for Burning Trees, for Bushwhackers, Rakdos Cackler is an additional little aggro entry to this. A couple of Annex. Of course, your four Tarkas commands. Uh, definitely the uh, this is I think my favorite aggro deck in the format if I had to make a choice mini gnarls with mono black aggro this one is just straight mono black no zombies no vampires it's just mono black uh, doing mono black things the deck has fallen off from its peak but it's still strong still good there's a lot of good cards it's using uh, Gifted Aetherborn as its primary two-drop, it looks like. Uh, and Scrap Heap Scrounger, too. So, yep. Darkuna with another Mono Red deck. There's a lot of Mono Red in this. A lot of different little builds. This one's got Ash Zealots. Uh, you know, do three damage to them if they try to escape their Uro. So, negate the life gain of the Uro. I think that's the primary tweak here over what we've seen in prior. I'm surprised this one is different enough from the earlier list we saw with uh, yeah the, the most recent list we saw that had Bone Crusher, Karizev, Rimrock, and Swift Spear. This one doesn't have Soul Scar Mage, and it has Steamkin instead, so that's something. This one feels like it's a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger than the other one we looked at. And Glyra with our last list in the dump. And it is Black Red Midrange. Chandra Torch, Liliana, Goblin Dark Dwellers, I think is we top out at a 5 drop. But it's going to... Uh, cast something out of the graveyard, and of course everything else here is cheap enough that you can do it. Blight beetles in the sides so that things can't get counters. Yeah, Black Red Min range. Uh, don't... I can't... Trying to think of any of the top decks that we didn't see in this dump. I can't think of any. Feels like a pretty representative list. Lots of different builds of Mono Red, that's for sure, in this one. So... I think that's it for today. 
If you enjoy what I'm doing here, do please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Hit that bell so that you know when my latest video comes up. And tomorrow we will be back, hopefully, with a Modern League list, assuming we're back on a regular posting schedule. And that's it for today. So stay safe out there, have fun, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.